Hi guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I decided I would just sit down here and talk to y'all about how I started my YouTube channel. Now, this is not about my journey or anything. It's just what equipment I use and what equipment I started with. So at this point, I've done YouTube for like two years and when I started, there wasn't a lot of beauty related content on um, YouTube like how people make beauty videos specifically and if there was it was just way too high tech and way too something I wasn't sure I want to invest in so I thought I would sit down and talk to you all about what I thought about uh, investments and how I saved up and how I slowly slowly grew it in the past two years so yeah if you're interested if you want to start not just a beauty youtube channel but any sort of youtube channel or you want to start filming videos or just anything you want to have insight into this whole world please keep on watching so now to begin with when i started or like i decided i made a decision that i want to film videos i didn't have anything at all i used an iphone 6s at the time and uh, I didn't have any camera equipment of any sort at home but one of my friends did have a DSLR and when I pitched the idea to him he was very generous to come over and uh, set up the whole thing for me and uh, help me shoot the video so the, at that time I was using a Canon 600D which even at that time two years back was not in stock his camera was also pretty old it was really good quality but uh, it, those, those DSLR ranges were not in the market so um, with the Canon 600D, I as a person am such a tech dumb, like I knew nothing about technology before I came into YouTube. I didn't even know to use PowerPoint pro properly in school. So for me it was a very big thing to do the whole uh, journey. So uh, with the Canon 600D, the first video he filmed for me and he helped the setup. If you watch my first video, the lighting and all is pretty off because I was sitting right at the back. Uh, my bed used to face that way and I was sitting right at the back of the wall not near my window we had no artificial lighting of any sort and so there's a lot of darkness and uh, no proper lighting and no proper focus and all of that so uh, barring that, that was the camera I used for a really long time for one year I used the Canon 600D my friend would not always come over but he very generously kept it at home and every time he would need it I would go and give it back to him so I tried to uh, adjust my shooting schedules according to his camera needs and timings because uh, I wanted to do YouTube but I was still not very sure how long this passion of mine will last because initially it was just a passion and even today it's just a passion project so I was not ready to make a camera investment or invest in any sort of equipment I didn't even have that kind of finance so that is about the camera. Now not everybody has a very generous friend who will lend them a DSLR. So if you cannot, I think I would have easily been able to film on the iPhone 6s. It would have taken a little bit of a jugard, but I could have done it. Uh, the Malvika Sitlani is a very big YouTuber and for two years of her YouTube career, which was very big because she was already a model and very famous in the industry, she used the iPhone success for the longest time to film her videos and even edited on her phone itself because uh, you get iMovies, you get all the apps and apps so they are all free of course, even on Samsung I'm sure there are many many editing apps. So you can do it all on your phone. I just got the facility so I used it. If you don't have it, you can set up your phone on a like a bunch of books. That is how my camera is set up even today. There are a bunch of encyclopedias and that's on which I keep the vlogging camera which I'm using currently. So yeah, if you have a good smartphone, you're good to go. You don't have to invest in a camera. Please do not invest in one unless you're very, very sure you want to do this. And that should take at least a year for you to make that decision. Okay, so next. First thing is of course camera. Next is the lighting. Now I have tried uh, artificial lighting. My friends gifted an artificial light to me. Just one single light as a birthday gift uh, when I started doing YouTube. So uh, that was just one single light. So it wasn't a ring light, it was one studio light. With lighting, it's very uh, difficult. You need like uh, those panels which will focus the light just on you. You know how you go in a studio and you have that entire studio set up. And to do all of that wasn't my cup of tea in the beginning. So in the beginnings, I used to just sit at the edge of my bed and film with natural light. Uh, with the Canon 600D. Once I got the artificial light, it got more convenient for me to film even in the evening time. And in the morning time, I could just film whenever I wanted. But the, if I look back, the quality of the videos with the artificial light I feel is not as good as with natural lighting. The natural lighting is the best lighting you can get 
So you need to sit in front of one big fat window in your house. Wherever you want to film, film in front of one big fat window. And not just like, like my room is pretty small, it's just one square. So I'm sitting at the foot of my bed to get the lighting straight in my face. If I go and sit at the head of my bed, it'll again be very, very dark. So you need to adjust that way that it's the best lighting for you and using natural light I think is the best way because it's free of course, it's always available and you don't really have to adjust the surrounding light and all of that stuff plus it will never get spoiled you know my light after 6 months it gave up on me and stopped working so I did not get it repaired because it was costing me half the price of the light to get it repaired so I didn't do that. I had actually bought a tripod for that also but by that time the light had already gotten spoiled so this was a waste investment for me. That's why when you're investing your money in products think twice, think thrice because all of this stuff comes very expensive and you'll tend to lose a lot of money if you don't think wisely. Now whereas the camera setup goes, if I'm using natural light, all I need is a tripod to stand my camera on. Okay, currently I'm using the Canon uh, G7X Mark II. So after one and a half year of doing YouTube, no, one year of doing YouTube, I was very sure that I am continuing with it. Uh, no matter how long I do it, I will continue and it was getting very inconvenient for me to go give back the Canon every time my friends stayed pretty far away from me. So for that reason, I saved up a little bit of money, I think. Oh yeah, I got in a very big uh, amount after my sister's wedding because with the Juti should I think. So uh, after that, with that money, I paid the down payment for my camera and I was paying EMI every month from my pocket money. So it was like 4,000 every month. This camera is around 45,000. So it was uh, somewhere more affordable because if I would go in for a DSLR, with a DSLR you have to try different types of lenses and all of that. Plus it's very heavy, bulky, needs a big ass tripod and all of that. And so I decided I would go in for a vlogging camera since this camera, the Canon G7 is a vlogging camera but it has great clarity, great focus, it's auto focus so when I pick up my products and like focus it automatically focuses on it it has varied types of features and it's very pocket friendly so I can carry it for like my trips and vlogs so for 45,000 I found this to be a great deal it came along with the tripod I will show you through my phone what my setup right now looks like switching to my camera this is the camera I'm using it's on this Manfrotto tripod and a bunch of encyclopedias are lined up here on my table so and the big window is right there so this is how I film my videos currently it's the best lighting and best photography setup it's affordable and it's also working for me so now that you've seen how this whole thing looks I do have a tripod with me okay tripods are not that expensive this was what 500-600 on Amazon so I did get one for myself, uh, it's a great quality tripod but the head of the tripod which attaches to the camera I lost it somewhere once and after that I know you get that also separately but this particular one I don't know if I'll get it separately because it's very weird in shape and I've lost this head only and it didn't come with any spare heads so it's a very great quality tripod it has triple um, triple openings so it will open all the way down it, it is almost to my waist height so I will leave the link to this on Amazon if I find it in the description section so you can go check it out on Amazon on my storefront I do have all my camera equipment and everything so I'll add the link to my storefront also in the description section so this is a very very good quality tripod I just don't use it anymore because I don't have the head to it and I don't really want to spend again on a tripod because this is working for me just fine and uh, yeah if it's working fine I don't really want to spend so this is how the equipment of my my YouTube setup works and this is how I grew uh, forward with it. I started with a Canon and then I moved on to this Canon G7X Mark. This is still available, this camera, but I would advise you to first go ahead with your phone and then maybe after a year or so invest into a proper camera. Now when I'm filming, I switch on the AC, I keep the AC on. Many YouTubers do tend to switch off the AC and the fan. The fan has to be off and the windows have to be shut so that there is noise cancelling in the entire room. The noise cannot echo the noise. Now my noise does echo in some of my videos because I do not use a mic. I don't feel the need to, I had once purchased a mic of Amazon but I could not for the life of me understand the whole setup. So I exchanged it and I returned it back to Amazon because I could not figure how to use it. 
uh, I feel as of now I don't need a mic maybe a year later on YouTube if I uh, earn more from YouTube and I feel like okay now I'm ready to invest more into this because I just got done paying the EMI for my camera so I just don't want to immediately make an investment um, that's why I'm not investing in a mic adjusting the noise removal and the voice and my voice modulation I do it on my editing so now for editing I use uh, the MacBook uh, this is also something I did not have initially this MacBook came to me one year after I started doing YouTube uh, this was a gift from my mother this is not something I purchased with my own money so yes this was a gift from my mother uh, when I got it, it was a very very special moment I'll insert the clip here how we opened my MacBook because I've actually not had a laptop for most of my life we had the desktop computer in my house and my sister had a laptop and after my 10th standard uh, I was gifted a laptop by the society council because of my percentage and stuff so I, it was an ASUS, very basic ASUS laptop so I was using that so when I started my YouTube channel that ASUS laptop was all I had uh, so on that the app I downloaded was Filmora I will leave the icon here uh, Filmora is a very very basic it's like iMovies and Windows Movie Maker now iMovie and Windows Movie Maker is something you get for free if you have a Windows laptop you get it for free and iMovie is also on Apple phones as well as Apple laptops so you can use that that is uh, very basic very easy to understand don't make the mistake to start with Adobe and all of that from the very beginning if you don't know shit about editing because I did that the first video we sat and like completed filming it, it got done filming at around 6 o'clock and we were going to upload it that very day V means me and two of my friends and we started editing at 6 we were trying to figure out Adobe Premiere Pro from 6 to 9 p.m. and we could not do it and then finally at night my sister came home and she's like why are you all struggling so much with a high level app when you're just starting you know start with Windows Movie Maker so that's what we did then and we started with Windows Movie Maker and it turned out just fine you, can, you just can cut, copy, do the transitions and add music and do all of that. Like the basic jo chahiye, wo ho jata hai Windows Movie Maker. Mein to you don't really need a high tech app. Later on, I felt like Windows Movie Maker was degrading the quality of my videos. I had to learn editing all by myself, so I did all of that on YouTube. You can learn doing YouTube on YouTube itself. For editing, there are lots of types of like Filmora itself has their own YouTube channel. So when I took Filmora, for Filmora I paid around, uh, it was a paid app, like if you don't pay you get that watermark which I didn't want. So uh, it is around, it was very very cheap, I think 5000 for the whole year or something. So I felt it was affordable because one pura saal I used only Filmora, I did not use anything else. Uh, so Filmora does not degrade the quality, uh, like exports your videos in high quality itself and it's very fast, it just takes a lot of time to export and since I was using a very purana laptop, Asus ka, my videos to edit used to take very very long but I adjusted, I somehow worked with that only. So Filmora, very basic, very easy for beginners, I would highly recommend that app. Uh, you can also download it on your phones and buy it. So if you don't have a laptop at all or don't have a computer situation, you can do it on your phone. Now since I have the MacBook, of course everybody on the MacBook uses the Final Cut Pro. I also use the Final Cut Pro for editing my videos. Uh, it is a paid app though. That is how I edit. It is more high tech. It took me a while to like get used to Final Cut Pro but it is 100 times easier than Adobe Premiere Pro. Like Adobe Premiere Pro is the highest like I think movie makers use that and I can never get to that level uh, anyway so this was the editing part of it now learning editing can be a task but you need to be very very patient with it and learn it off the internet now I cannot sit and teach you editing over here because mujhe bhi baut kam kam hi aata hai but you can learn everything on the internet I will leave some relatable links down below if you are interested for Filmora their YouTube channel is good and for Final Cut Pro whatever is relatable I will leave it down now I talked about editing, I talked about the setup, now the background. Now since I said that jahan pe bhi window hai, you sit and um, film over there, that is the best thing to do. If behind you have a lot of clutter, you can just clear out the clutter and if you have like drawers and stuff like a cabinet or a window, or, like I have my bed's headboard. So I've just accessorized the headboard with this girl boss label which I got from the flea market. 
this uh, chevron painting that i've done on my own this unicorn lamp i got on mango shop shop mango mango shop and uh, mango people yeah i'll leave it there, down below and uh, this ergo uh, just like you painting is made by my friend ifra because my channel's name is a uh, girl just like you so the whole thing accessorizing the whole thing was my idea because my headboard got shifted here before my bed used to face that side so tabhi the wall was clear so we had a set of frames behind i kept switching it up but my friends gifted me a set of frames to accessorize it before that i just had like lights and one painting so you can do anything basis your lighting first decide ki kahan achhi lighting hai and where am i going to sit and film it and then accordingly decorate your backdrop your backdrop has to be something which is very non distracting to the audience if your audience is paying attention to you like you they are paying attention to the products you are showing the makeup you are doing or maybe your cooking or whatever you are doing whichever youtube channel you want to start make sure the background does not distract them too much so there shouldn't be a lot happening in the backdrop when i had those uh, paintings with a lot of uh, quotes on it i felt that was a very distracting background because it had so much going on behind so yeah you can make the call basis that try turn things around and see what works best for you now saving up for youtube initially of course you do not earn a lot from youtube i'm still not properly properly start earning from youtube i don't get a monthly payment youtube pays you every time you reach like 100 dollars so i get paid once in 5 months once in 4 months and i get like 100 dollars every 5 4 months so of course that is not feasible or to that's why it's not like advisable that you invest so much money into it when you're not sure ki aage kitni der karna hai because the thought of doing youtube is very fun and fresh but when you start doing it but that chalta hai ki bahut kaam hai boss it is a lot of work it is uh, even i thought oh i like makeup i'll do makeup videos but then once i start to film it is a lot of work a lot of learning and stuff so make sure you're mentally prepared once you've done a series of videos and you know this kind of work is for you Then you do it. For me, it's very creatively satisfying to sit and do everything. Takes up my Sundays. It's it's like a fun time with me. So yeah, that's why I like to do it. Don't invest too much because it'll take you a while to earn it back. Uh, for me, the half my investment goes in makeup only because makeup is way more expensive than YouTube would ever be able to pay me. Okay, uh, so just a little tip for the beauty YouTubers out there um, who want to start a beauty makeup channel specifically. Don't think that you need so many makeup products to start with. This is something my friend told me that every thing is built up and it comes to you. I was always a makeup lover. I've never been a big hoarder. Like I always, if I'm not using something within five months, it will be out of my house and given to some friend of mine or somebody who's in need and who does not buy makeup for themselves. We know a lot of such people, so we donate. Like I to donate only because I don't have space in my cupboard. So don't think that you need a lot of makeup to start with. If you have the basic essentials, my starting ke videos me the I used to use anything. So my makeup collection was very concise. I had like what four lipsticks, one eyeliner, one foundation, one concealer. As a AK ko ni I had everything. And the initially ka I filmed makeup tutorials only with only using those products. Slowly, steadily, every month I would buy myself one makeup item. whatever was hot and trending at the moment whatever i felt i needed and even today i still do the same thing it's just grown the collection has grown over the years over two years and now like recently i bought myself the first stila magnificent metals that are glitter and glow shadow so it was 2000 and i have waited to buy that forever like i always have kept it back and not picked it up or not told anybody to get it for me from abroad but this month that was my investment so slowly steadily you will start building up on your collection as a beauty youtuber you don't need to have everything from the start that's what i feel and that's i think somebody something every youtuber every beauty youtuber who's even very very successful out there not me uh will tell you that so i'm i have a very small family just 10000 but i'm very happy in that i didn't really want for the numbers I've never. I feel the more the numbers, the more uh, claustrophobic I get, thinking that so many people are watching me. But uh, yeah, so all these were the tips I wanted to give. This was one specific beauty tip, and the others apply to all sides, sorts of YouTube videos you want to make, or just any videos you want to make. I hope you guys found this informative. I feel like I have mentioned everything I wanted to from my point of view and from a beginner's point of view. If you feel that you've not, I have not covered any bases, and you want to ask more questions, leave them in the comments because I will always reply to your comments. And if uh, I find a lot of questions, I might make a part two of this. 
so yeah i think this was it from a beginner point of view that i am i still am sort of a beginner and uh, from a small youtuber point of view this was my opinion and my suggestions i hope you guys enjoyed if you did hit the like button please don't forget to subscribe if you're interested in beauty related content and you're here for that hit the subscribe button hit the bell icon so that you're notified every sunday when i upload a new video and i will see you all next sunday bye guys love you all